I like to listen and I like to learn. I really tried to just take the time and build relationship. What was your intention when, when you launched Collie Power? Did you have any metrics that would define uh, success for you? Well, I can tell you none of the metrics are exemplified today. I, I mean, I suppose, did I think Collie Power would be as big as it is today? No way. Absolutely not. In fact, one of these days I have to look back to an early business plan because I'm pretty sure that I tried to articulate what some of those metrics might be and I can tell you I was way off. But I guess in my own mind, I thought, you know, it would be great if I could be self-sufficient, if, you know, I could send my kids to school and pay for everything that they needed and, you know, help people along the way, really. Those aren't the metrics that you sort of graduate from business school with, but they are the metrics that I used in order to sort of convince me to go on this crazy ride. Yeah, purpose-driven is a bit different to maximizing shareholder value. <laughs> both are important, both are important. <laughs> Uh, but both serve different purposes. <laughs> Have you got like your, your own goal setting process or is there anything specific you do to make sure that you're getting out of your comfort zone on a regular basis? I'm out of my comfort zone every second, including right now, by the way. <laughs> um, I would say that, yeah, you know, I like to listen and I like to learn. And so I learn, I try to create a culture where it's okay to say you don't know something and it's really good to say you just learned something and it's really good to help other people learn things. Maybe because of my age, I'm not afraid to say what I don't know. I'm the founder, but I don't have to have all the answers. I've hired lots of smart people, much smarter than I in their you know, various areas of expertise. I'd be pretty stupid if I hired such smart people and didn't listen to what they had to say and foster that environment. And so I'm like a sponge. I have been since day one and I still very much am today.